everybody, my name is Sophie and welcome to my book nook. I've been reading a lot of books lately, quite a few on NetGalley, and I have one that I really really like that I really want to talk to you about. So today I'm going to be doing a review on The Girls I've Been by Tess Sharp. I'll put a thing here or here, wherever I can fit a picture. I'll put it there so you can see the cover. I was lucky enough to read this book on NetGalley prior to its release. It was released on January 26th and I will put links in the description box to where you can buy it because you should go do that and if you can't buy it, get it from your library. So what is this book about? Alright, our main character is Nora. Nora O'Malley. Except it's not actually her name because she was the daughter of a con woman who did this sweetheart heist. Nora's mom targeted the not greatest men in the world who had money and she conned them out of it and because they weren't the greatest men they didn't go to the police because they didn't want the police knowing what they were up to at each of nora's mother's marks nora had to play the perfect daughter in her life she was six different girls and all the time she really didn't get to figure out who she was now at 17 she lives with her sister lee and and nora is trying to just be a normal girl, trying to finish high school, do all those things. Our story starts at a bank, where Nora and her girlfriend, Iris, are meeting Nora's ex, who is also her best friend, Wes, and things are a little awkward, yeah. But, you know, they have to do this, they are bringing money that they raised to the bank, and they walk inside, and right when they do, Somebody tries to rob the bank. So now, the three of them are being held hostage. And, and But the bank heist doesn't go as these robbers have planned. And it gets dangerous really fast. And now Nora has to con her way out if she wants to save herself, her friends, and everybody else. But who exactly is Nora O'Malley? And what exactly are these robbers after? And can Nora do the one thing she ever wants to do? Can she pull off a con? The Girls I've Been is an incredible story and I have a feeling it's going to be one of the best books I've read this year. It is just, I don't know how to explain it. It's told in first person from Nora's perspective, but it also goes back and forth between Nora now and Nora in the past as one of the different girls that she had to be. And we see how the things that happened to her then are still affecting her now and how she's had to work through all of this stuff because this is not a happy book. This is dark. It's, it's, it's difficult. Bad things happen to Nora. Horrible things that she has to deal with and has to work through and it's awful. But it's also very real and it makes Nora such an appealing character and her relationships with her sister and with Iris and with Wes are so well done, especially with Wes. Like, they are just best friends and their relationship is so beautiful. They call themselves Franken friends because they were together and then they broke up, but they've put their friendship back together. And I love that. I love that part of the story. I love the sisterly bond in there between Nora and Lee, and I just love how interesting this book is. These things with the cons, all the different cons that take place in the past, and I love how they are short chapters, because, you know, we love short chapters because short chapters make us want to read more chapters. It is just so interesting. It is so well done. I can't say enough about it, and you're gonna hear me talking about it more throughout the year because it's so good. It is a thrilling book. I wouldn't call it a mystery, but it's definitely a thriller. And it's a book that definitely makes you think a lot of different things. And that's my favorite types of books, which you all know. It's just, it's such a good book. It's so well done. It's so exciting. It's thrilling. It's well written. It's action packed. It kind of messes with your mind a little bit. Just the way that Nora is so good at like figuring all these things out. She, she was born in the con essentially she was raised in the con and how that has affected her how her mother really did mold her it's so interesting it's all like the psychological things are very interesting and very well done and i know i've said that like 12 times this book is very well done but that's the truth 
So yeah, this has just been a really quick review. I didn't want to make it too long. I could talk about it a lot more. You'll probably hear me talking about it again in the future. But check, definitely check out The Girls I've Been by Tess Sharp. It is so incredible. If you can't buy it, get it from your library because libraries help authors and books too. If you have by any chance read this book already, please let me know in the comments. I want to hear it and tell me if you are now interested in reading it because that would be cool too. You know that I love to hear from you guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like listening to me talk about books, you should subscribe to this channel because that's what I do, among other things. If you aren't already, please follow me on Twitter at Sophie's Book Nook. When I'm not on here, you can find me on there and I tweet about all kinds of random things and I always tweet when I make a new video. And I think that is it. So I will see you guys next time. Bye!